The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody and welcome to the A-Team Challenge. I'm your host today, Robert Van Winkle. Proud to be part of this uh, wonderful partnership between the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, the Lee County School District, and NBC2. The A-Team Challenge is an academic challenge and uh, we are here to celebrate academic excellence here in Southwest Florida. We started off this year with 36 high schools from six Southwest Florida counties. Today is the beginning of the semifinals. We just have four teams left. Two teams will battle it out for the last position or for the first position in the last game. And then two more teams are up in our next uh, hour to give us uh, the result as who's going to play one of these two winners. So once again, our games are here on NBC2, of course, this afternoon. You can also watch them on the Internet at YouTube.com forward slash Lee Schools TV. It's a first for us this year. You can catch the games uh, on YouTube. Also, thanks to Comcast and CenturyLink for putting the games on Channel 99 and Channel 89, respectively. So students, welcome to the A-Team Challenge first game of the semifinals today. Your subjects will be in the uh, categories of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some general knowledge questions as well. Let's give the folks at home a little refresher on our rules. The students have been briefed already, of course. We have uh, three rounds up front, five, ten, and twenty points. Remember, in the first three rounds, students here to work individually, no help from team members, and if you get a question wrong in one of the first three rounds, there's no penalty for a wrong answer. However, if you buzz in early, I stop reading the question and you have to give me an answer. If you miss it, the other team gets to hear the whole question and possibly steal the point. The final exam round will be up at the end and we will determine in that round who is going on to the final match. All right, so here we go. Two fine schools on my right. First of all, Bishop Barrow. Bishop Barrow, no stranger to the A team. We'll introduce you to the students in a second. Bishop Barrow versus Island Coast. Island Coast has come a long way here this year and uh, they're decked out in white. Bishop Barrow in their black and here we go. Students, if you're ready to play the A team challenge, put your hands on your buzzers and question number one is up. First question, name, respectively, the gold and silver women's medal hockey team winners in the 2014 Winter Olympics. Nick, Island Coast. U.S. and Russia. Nope, not U.S. and Russia. Good try, though. Bishop Barreau. Alex. U.S. and Canada. Nope, sorry, you had to get it in the right order, and it was Canada and the U.S. Canada was gold, U.S. was silver. That's a good try, though, both sides. Next question for five. Identify the opera by Georges Bizet about a Spanish cigarette girl whose other characters include Zuniga, Escamillo, and Don Jose. Sophia, Island Coast. Carmen. Carmen, right, good job. Five points starts you off, Island Coast. Give the word starting with the letter T for the process used in an emergency room to treat the most serious cases first. Alex, Bishop Perot. I don't know. Hurry, hurry. Nope, sorry. Sophia? Triage. Triage is the right response. Five points to Island Coast. Next question for five. U.S. income taxes were raised in 1932, the year when what Democrat was Nick, Island Coast? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was uh, elected to succeed Herbert Hoover, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Five points, Island Coast. Next for five. The cities of Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Chicago, Illinois. Both lie on what great lake? Alex, Bishop Verreau? Michigan. Lake Michigan is right. Five points gets you on the board now for Bishop Verreau. Next question for five. A catastrophic terremoto occurred recently in South America. Alex, Bishop Verreau? Earthquake. Yep, what happened? It was an earthquake and that's five points, Bishop Verreau. All right, your first question on the screen here is a math question. What whole number results when you calculate 729 to the one-third power? Sophia's in Island Coast. Nine. Yes, Sophia, good job, and nice and quick there. Five points, Island Coast. Next for five. During the Golden Age of Greece, what city-state was the center of Greek achievement? Sophia, Island Coast. Athens. 
That was the center of Greek achievement in philosophy, science, government, and arts. Five points, island coast. Next for five, the Earl of Gloucester, the King of France, and Oswald, the steward of Goneril, are all characters in what Shakespeare? Alex, Bishop Perot. Henry V. No, sorry, not Henry V. What Shakespeare tragedy, whose title character has three daughters? Island Coast. Sophia? King Lear. King Lear is right. Five points, Island Coast. Next question. Antwerp is the second largest city by Nick's, uh, Nick, Island Coast. Belgium. By population in what European nation? Belgium is the right response there. Next question is a math question. You may look at your screen again. In terms of pi, give the area of the ellipse. 16x squared plus 9y squared equals 144. For those of you watching at home, students are given a little extra time, pencil, paper, and a calculator to get our math questions. Sophia's in Island Coast. Um, 3 pi. Good try, Sophia. Nope, not it. 3 pi was her response. Bishop Barreau? 12 pi. 12 pi was the response I needed. Okay, next question for five. During the age of imperialism, right before World War I, what country just north of South Africa was referred to as German Southwest Africa? Alex, Bishop Perot? Zimbabwe. That's a good guess, but nope, not what I need. Island Coast. Nick. Namibia. Namibia is the right one. Five points, Island Coast. Next for five. In the 1850s, the great Russian author Leo Tolstoy fought in what war against England, France, Sophia, Island Coast? The Crimean War. Yeah, and the Ottoman Empire. The Crimean War is the right response. Island Coast, five more points. It is named for the estate owned by Sir Thomas Bertram, the husband of Fanny Price's aunt. What Jane Austen novel? Sophia, Island Coast. Mansfield Park. Yep, it says Fanny is sent to live uh, at age 10 with her wealthy relatives. Mansfield Park, five more points, Island Coast. Nearly a million of its citizens are said to have been killed by Turkey in the early 1900s. Nick, Island Coast. Armenia. Armenia, right. That's the right uh, country that I'm looking for today. And uh, that rounds out that round. Good job, Island Coast, uh, taking off there. Five points more for you. Bishop Vero, you're on the board, and our 10-point round is coming up next. So before we get to that, let's introduce you to the students from Bishop Vero High School. First spot is Robert. Robert Voorhees is a senior this year. He will be off to the University of Miami, and he wants to study actuarial science. Robert, uh, good luck to you in the future. Great job on the A-team here this year. You've done a fine job there. Julia is next to Robert. Julia Canzano is a junior, so we'll probably, hopefully, see her back here next year. She has undecided plans after high school as yet. Uh, Julia, welcome to the A-team. Rounding out the team, two players in the back row. This is Alex. Alex Simon is a senior this year, and he is off to Western Kentucky. Uh, after high school to uh, continue his education. And the, the final member of the team is Allie. Allie Frazier is a senior. She's off to Georgetown and wants to study biology. So Allie, Alex, Julia, and Robert are under the coaching of Lori Schreiner at Bishop Vero High School. When we come back, we'll introduce you to the players at Island Coast, and we'll start the second round. Don't go away. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out, 
to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. We're in game one of the semifinals here. One of these two teams will be moving on to the final match. And uh, as we continue on, we're going to introduce you to the players now at Island Coast High School. Player number one, this is Sophia. Sophia's had a great day so far here. Sophia Shiguri is a junior this year. She wants to go to the University of Florida and uh, wants to study foreign languages. Sophia, uh, welcome back to the A-Team and hope to see you next year. Nick Duda. Nick is a, ju is a senior this year, so he'll be off to college after high school. He's going to New College college and wants to study history. Nick, good luck to you. In the back row, this is Tuet Nguyen. Tuet is a junior this year, no stranger to the A-team. She's been here before, and Tuet uh, wants to go to USF and study nursing. Rounding out the team for Island Coast is Alyssa. Alyssa Hodge is a junior, and she would like to also go to USF, wants to study biology. So welcome to the team, Alyssa, Tuet, Nick, and Sophia, under the coaching of Rhonda Russell at Island Coast High School. All right, students, let's get started now again with round two. This is our 10-point round. Hands on your buttons. Each, bu each question's worth 10 points as we start off. Here we go. This first one is a little lengthy. Listen up. Draw the base of a right triangle along the positive x-axis. Draw the hypotenuse from the origin to a point in the first quadrant. The point where the hypotenuse and the height of the triangle meet can be expressed not only by Cartesian coordinates, but by what coordinate type that uses the angle theta? Sophia, Island Coast. Polar. Polar coordinates between the hypotenuse and the positive x-axis and R. 10 points, Island Coast. Next for 10. Members of the group that supervise this location include many captains of industry, but do not include the winners of its prestigious annual event, who each year receive a green jacket instead. Alex, Bishop Verreau. The Masters, Augusta, Georgia. The Masters Golf Tournament. Judges? No, I'm sorry. I, I can't allow that because I didn't get uh, enough of the question out to get the answer I need. I'm going to finish it for Island Coast. Give the two-word name of this Georgia golf course where the annual Masters Tournament is held. The name of the course is Augusta National. Augusta National. All right, no points awarded there. Next question for 10. What specific branch of biology often requires use of a punnant square? Robert Bishop Rowe. Hereditary? No, sorry, Robert. Island Coast, Sophia. Genetics? Yeah, genetics. I needed to get genetics out of that. 10 points, Island Coast. Next for 10. What empire that occupied ancient Mesopotamia Alex Bishop Verreau. The Nubians. Nope, sorry, incorrect, not the Nubians. They occupied ancient Mesopotamia, was founded by Sargon. Sophia. Sumerian? No, not the Sumerians either. It was the Akkadian, the Akkadian Empire. Next question for 10. What, no, not what, which, which 19th century American fireside poet gave us the poems To a Waterfowl and Thanatopsis? Thanatopsis, sorry, Thanatopsis. Alex, Bishop Verreau. Ralph Waldo Emerson. That's a good guess, uh, Alex. Nope, sorry. Island Coast. Sophia, you're in time. Whitman. Nope, not Whitman. Bryant. Bryant. William Cullen Bryant. Okay, next question for 10. Give, hang on. Give the five-letter word commonly used to describe the plants of a given region or of a period of geologic... Nick, Island Coast. Flora. Flora. Flora is right, or of a period of geologic time is Flora, 10 points, Island Coast. Next for 10. Identify the general musical term, beginning with the letter D, referring to the variation in loudness or softness. Julia Bishop Verreau. Uh, decrescendo. That's a good guess, Julia. Nope, sorry. Uh, Island Coast, loudness or softness of a piece of music. When I want loudness or softness, I want dynamics up and down dynamics. Okay, next, point, next question for 10. Name the fruit whose common types include Gala, food, Sophia, Island Coast. Apple. Fuji and Macintosh were the other two. 10 points, Island Coast. Next for 10. What act 
was signed into U.S. law in 1964 by President Lyndon Johnson, Sophie Island Coast. Civil Rights Act. To outlaw segregation in schools and unemployment. Civil Rights Act of 64. You got it. Ten points. Island Coast. For ten, name the Big Ten University located in the city of Bloomington. Robert Bishop Verreau. Indiana University. You got it. And ten points goes to Bishop Verreau. Indiana University. You have to be gone for a while, so you tie up your dog Rover to a pole in the middle of an open field with a ten-foot leash so he can't run away. What five-letter word from the Latin for place generically describes the group of maximum points that Rover can reach? Allie, Bishop Verreau. Radius? Radius. Nope. Sorry. Incorrect. Island Coast. Locus. The locus. Uh, locus. Next question. Not locust, but locus. Next question for 10. In ballet, what French term for walking with a partner is also used in square dancing? Alex, Bishop Verreau. Trotting. Say again? Trotting. Trotting? No, sorry, incorrect. All in coast? Twet. Um, relevant? Say again? Relevant? Nope, not that one either. Um, it's promenade. Promenade or promenade? All right, next question for 10. Name the real life conflict of the 1930s that is the backdrop for Ernest Hemingway's novel For Whom the Bell Tolls. Alex, Bishop Verreau? The Cashmere War. Nope, good guess though. Island Coast. Nick, just in time. Spanish Civil War. Spanish Civil War is right, and you got that at the last minute. Another 10 points for Island Coast. All right, that ends our 10 point round. When we come back, uh, Bishop Verreau, you got a good chance to catch up here because each question is going to be worth 20 points in our final round before the final exam. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. All right, welcome back to the final round, the 20-point round now, the A-Team Challenge, our first game in the semifinals here. Island Coast has a big lead, but Bishop Verreau, you guys are ready to go because each question worth 20 points now. You need to get up three or four of these in a row, and you're going to be right back in the thick of it. Here we go. Let's start off. Hands on your buzzers. First question. What type of well or aquifer has a water table higher than the well's hole, making it possible to get water out without pumping? Sophia, Island Coast. Ground well. Good, good try. Nope, not it. Bishop Verreau? Alex. A reservoir. Not a reservoir. The type of well is an artesian well. An artesian well. Next question is a math question. It's on your screen. You can begin working. The length of a woman's foot in inches is related to her shoe size by the formula foot length equals seven plus one third the shoe size. So I want you to calculate the shoe size of a woman whose foot is nine and two thirds inches long. Give them a little extra time to see about the answer for the math question, and it's going to come up. Okay, Robertson, Bishop Verreau. Ten inches? No, not ten. Sorry. Island Coast. I, I can't hear from up here. Yeah, you're right on there, Sophia, which is why I couldn't hear, so we'll give it to you. Give it a shot. Um, ten point two? No. <laughs> Eight. We needed the shoe size. Calculate the shoe size, and the shoe size was eight. All right, that's okay. Next question, 420. The pH of pure water is exactly seven. Thus, the concentration of hydrogen ions in pure water is what decimal number? Alex, Bishop Verreau. 0 0.001. How many? Two O's. No, not two O's. Good try. Island Coast. Sophia. 0.5. No, not 0.5. It's points. It's six zeros. Point zero 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 one. 
That's the answer I needed. All right, no, no points yet. Here we go. It convinced Steve Spurrier to leave Florida to try to coach for the NFL. Name this NFL team that, after the 2009 season, fired its coach Jim Zorn and replaced him with former Denver Bronco coach Mike Shanahan. Alex Bishop Vero. The Redskins. The Redskins. 20 points, Bishop Vero. You got it. The idea that deficit spending by government can jumpstart a struggling economy came from the book The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, written by what British? Julia Bishop Vero. John Maynard Keynes. Yeah, that's the British economic, economist. economist. Uh, 20 points, Bishop Vero. Give the most common English translation of the French verb avoir. Sophia. To have. To have is right. To have in French, avoir, and you got 20 points for that island coast. At one point in the story of Huck Finn, he is mistaken for what friend of his by that friend's Robert Bishop Vero. Tom Sawyer. Yeah, by that friend's Aunt Sally. 20 points, Bishop Vero. Next for 20, victory in the Battle of the Plains of Abraham during the French and Indian War enabled the British general James Wolfe to capture what city in eastern Canada? Alex, Bishop Vero? Montreal. No, wrong one. Allen Coast. Sophia. Uh, oh, um, Cis Quebec. Say again? Quebec? Quebec? Can you be more specific? Um, it's Ke Ke Quebec, Mon uh, Montreal. Okay. I don't know. No, it's Quebec City. It was Quebec City, not Quebec the province, Quebec City. But you were close, so no points there, either side. Next point, next question for 20. Give the slang term for a person who helps a rock star put up and take down his show while he's on tour. Alex, Bishop Vero. A roadie. Vero. Say again? A roadie. A roadie is worth 20 points, Bishop Vero. What machine, often used in a chemistry lab, is also used to rapidly spin a sample of two isotopes of... Robert Bishop Vero. Centrifuge. To spin those isotopes of uranium to separate them out. 20 points, Bishop Vero. Centrifuge. What term is used for the dressed up artificial human figure or uh, Nick, Island Coast? Mannequin. Yeah, or the dummy in a clothing store. Mannequin. 20 points, Island Coast. Spell the word mannequin. Alex. M A N N E Q U I N. M A N N E Q U I N. 20 points, mannequin spelled right, Bishop Vero. Next for 20. His songs, Peggy Sue and Alex Bishop Vero. Buddy Holly. Yeah, you didn't need much more than that, did you? <laughs> Buddy Holly, there was a big old long question here about uh, he was killed in a plane crash, tragically, leader of the crickets. 20 points, Bishop Vero, Buddy Holly. Two years after the Cuban Missile Crisis, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev was replaced by what new Soviet? Alex Bishop Vero. Medvedev. Say again? Medvedev. No, not Medvedev. By what Soviet leader was he replaced? Uh, Island Coast Sofia. Gorbachev? Not Gorbachev. Brezhnev. Brezhnev. Next question for 20. What Scandinavian country claims the island of Spitsbergen near the Arctic Circle? Alex Bishop Vero? Finland. Sorry, uh, uh, not correct. And Nick? Norway. Norway is the right response. 20 points, Island Coast. Ho <laughs> ho! Look at that! All right. That's the way to play the 18th. Give him a hand. That was good, you guys. All right. The final category, the final category is science. You need to make your wagers based on how you think you'll do in the subject of science. And when we come back, we're going to find out which one of these two teams, only one, is going on to the finals. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a Take Stock in Children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. 
For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. All right, this is it, the conclusion of the first game of the semifinals here for the 18 Challenge 2016. We uh, started off with a little bit of a disparity here, but we ended up pretty close. Bishop Burrow at 160 points, Island Coast at 175. So it's all going to come down to wagers and, of course, whether the students get the question right. Before we do that and reveal the question, let's introduce you to the alternates uh, from both schools. On the Bishop Burrow side in the back here, this is the lovely Junko Nelson. Junko, give us a wave. She's a senior this year, wants to go to USC and study civil engineering. And right next to me here is Haley. Haley uh, Saratani is a senior. She's way to hear back from Tufts and she would like to study pre-med. So again, uh, Haley, Junko, Ali, Alex, Julia, and Robert uh, from Bishop Borough High School. Great job, you guys. Uh, from Island Coast side, we've got one alternate here. This is Jesse. Jesse Spear is a junior. He would like to go to the University of Florida and study physics. Jesse, hopefully we'll see you back here again next year for the A-Team Challenge. Jesse, Alyssa, Twit, Nick, and Sophia. All right, so here's the final exam question. Uh, pretty straightforward, but you do need to know your stuff to get this right. State what is studied in any four of the following five subfields of biology. Now, the way this works is we will take four out of the five. You got to get all four right in order to be marked correct. So I'll give you the answers to all five, and then we'll see uh, what you chose and how you did. Uh, cytology is the study of cells, ornithology, birds, mycology, fungus, genomics, DNA, and entomology, insects. All right, so uh, we're going to start with Bishop Barreau. Bishop Barreau came in with 160 points. You chose to answer cells, uh, birds for ornithology. You uh, picked D for ge uh, genomics at genes and insects. So you got all four of them right. Good job. Excellent work. Your wager was Zippo you stay at 160 points. It all comes down to whether or not Island Coast gets it right. Island Coast uh, picked the same four and you are 100% correct. Your wager was 146, that brings you up to 321. So Island Coast High School will be moving on. Bishop Barreau, thank you very much. Island Coast, we'll see you in a few days. Let's get up and congratulate each other. Thanks for watching the 18 Challenge. Bye everybody, thanks for watching the 18.